On this day in 1806, after a short battle, the Dutch garrison of Cape Castle surrenders to the British, who subsequently occupy the Cape of Good Hope. The first electric lighting system employing overhead wires, built by Thomas Edison, begins serving at Rosal in New Jersey on this day in 1883. On this day in 1903, a new bicycle race, the Tour de France, is announced. On this day in 1915, the first German Zeppelin attacks take place in Great Britain, resulting in the deaths of four people. On this day in 1942, Japanese forces invade Burma. And on this day in 1955, Scrabble debuts on the board game market. President Dwight D. Eisenhower appears on the first presidential news conference hall for TV on this day in 1955. On this day in 1966, Indira Gandhi is elected as India's fourth Prime Minister. And on this day in 1978, the last Volkswagen Beetle made in Germany leaves VW's plant in Emden. Beetle production in Latin America would continue until 2003. On this day in 1983, Klaus Barbie, World War II SS Chief of Lyon in France and wanted for war crimes, is arrested in Bolivia. And on this day in 2013, cycling legend Lance Armstrong admits to doping in all seven of his Tour de France victories. Let's look at some birthdays for today. Robert E. Lee, the American general who commanded the Confederate Army in the American Civil War, was born on this day in 1807. Poet Edgar Allan Poe was born on this day in 1809. A singer-songwriter Janis Joplin was born on this day in 1943. Country singer Dolly Parton was born on this day in 1946. Katie Sagal, who will be best remembered for her role as Peggy, Al Bundy's wife in Married with Children, is born on this day in 1954. Russian gymnastic legend Svetlana Gorkina is born on this day in 1979. And another gymnastic legend, America's Sean Johnson, was born on this day in 1992. Singer and songwriter Wilson Pickett died on this day in 2006. And Scottish rugby commentator Bill McLaren, the voice of rugby, dies on this day in 2010. And finally, on this day in 1984, former South African police captain turned bank robber Andre Sala robs three banks in Joburg City Centre in less than an hour. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.